All right, all right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome you faces to a new dawn and a new day where we're getting straight away started by going to London. Because today, if you're watching this video, is the launch day of the brand new Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now, as you guys know, I've been doing consultating, consult consultations with, with the team over at Infinity Ward, working on the game, how they can like, you know, uh, like improve it with my feedback, all this sort of stuff. And you know what? Today I've been invited down to London to go to the launch. So you're watching this as the game's out, but I'm heading down there right now to go to it. So let's get this day started and let's go to London. Stockport train station, next stop, London. I got myself a coffee, got myself my scuff, and we are about to get on this train for the next two hours to take me down to London. And just like that, I'm off the train in one of the busiest stations in all of the United Kingdom. We're in London, Euston, ladies and gentlemen, and I need to try and find out where my taxi is. Can you see that train on top of that building? There's a, there's a underground train on top of that building. I'll take a photo of it oh, for you. Oh, that one here. Yeah, that's I've right. seen it. Yes, yes. How much that? That must have been built. Uh, wow. Actually. Goodbye, Mr. Addison Lee. That's the driver who just picked me up. And I don't actually now know where I'm supposed to be going. Like, this is the destination, but that doesn't look like a Call of Duty launch. Plus, I don't see any promo for it. So, I'm going to ring the people and find out where I'm going. All right, the homies are turning up any minute. I think this is where I need to be. Number 85, outside Brickman's Brewery. I mean, Truman's Brewery. And, uh, yo, these guys got Halloween decorations. I need to get some. Is this to do with you guys? The light? Or is there currently a... F oh, mate. You're so leading me to get murdered here, aren't you? <laughs> what is going on? Bro, this is terrifying. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Ooh. We are in the right place. On the head in the way. I like it. No, we're early. I like it. I like it. I like it. Very cool. I'm gonna wait one sec. Are these all little swag packs? What's in them? Oh, mate. Are these double XP codes? Are they double XP codes? Because I'll take all of them right now. <laughs> Just yoink all the bags. Welcome to the entrance. Oh, right. All I need to know is which one can I plug into and play all damn day? Look at this. You've got all the setups ready to game. Loving it. You've got Burger Town Cafe over here and Mags and Frags convenience store. I love it. This is great. And you guys should recognize this from Call of Duty. Welcome to Burger Town. And it's actually a fully fledged working like little restaurant. Oh, sh <laughs> mate! The, <laughs> it was like, have you seen the background? I was like, no, I haven't. Look at it. They've got they've got an entire DJ set up, place where you can game, and another place where you can actually game. This is mint. a fully fledged. Look at that. Talk about a stocked out bar back there. I like it. Oh snap! Not a bad first game with the boys. <laughs> Oh, well, that was good fun. Gutted all the controllers on the setups, watch. They've got these uh, little anti-steel devices on. So I've travelled all the way down with my scuff, my baby, and uh, I can't plug them in. But I did just play with a normal controller, and as you saw, came top of the board, because that's just what we do. I turned around and I heard the guy went, have you seen who you're playing against? And I was like, you're damn right. There's, there's certain things in life that I am not cocky about, like, Sports, and all that sort of shit. But when it comes to video games, and especially Call of Duty, you better know it's on. All right, on the menu today, burger, cod, cod dog, and PGC, Price's Grilled Chicken. I'm taking it. Mate, I tell you something. I've just had a little bit of this, and oh my God, that is some good ass chicken. Oh my God. Hey, I'm going getting that three times more. All right, all right, all right. The doors have now opened. The people are flooding in. The stations are getting filled up. And uh, I need a, a place for myself to be able to sit and play some games. So I'm thinking there's a station over here for me. There's now so many people here and you've just got to love it. I joined the game late and I still got the win. This is sick. Look how many, look how many people are here. <laughs> Mate, the try hard game, the glasses come off. Bro, tell me I didn't just slap him. Tell me I didn't just you slap him. So <laughs> what do you mean I've got so much better? I just took 50 kills. Mate, look at that. 51. Oh my god. Tell me I'm not nasty. Come on, tell me I'm not nasty. Stop. I'm literally bullying the other people off the other team. Let me show you my score. I went 72 and 7. 10.3 KD. Oh shit. So, 
one of the main reasons I'm here is Call of Duty's official Twitter allowed me to pick, well, pick a winner on Twitter to come down and play Call of Duty with me here the day before the launch at the reveal sort of thing for the public. And which one is it? This one or this one? Uh, oh, right, both together. Yeah. So there's two golden ticket winners. But it's this guy here and this guy here. And as soon as they finish this game, we're going to go jump on a 2v2 and throw down. Hey, are you ready to play in a minute? Oh, oh mate, we're going to... I'm warmed up. I'm, hey, look at it. He's like, I'm ready. I'm so ready. Mate, I'm warmed up of anything, so I'm ready to pop off. Mate, no worry about my guy here. Look at absolute. He's had a chop. We're gonna kill streak already. Go on, that lad. I'm not saying anything other than we lost. All right, and it's not his fault because he beat me. It's his fault because he was my partner, and he only got one kill the entire game. Stay on that side. Hello, new partner. <laughs> mate, the, oh my god, the store's been rinsed. Mate, it's been robbed. I came in here, mate, I came in here before, it was completely filled. There's nothing left. What the f? Mate, it's all, I think it's all free in here or something, mate. We'll get all copies of the game, all sorts, and I was going to come back and get one. Gone. Mate, are you smashing pasties or are you oh, smashing pasties? What's going on? What's going on? Mate, I went 77 and 7. What? I went 77 and 7. Were you just in the game? Watching me, bro. I, no, no, no. I was playing earlier. And then the yeah. next game, the next game, I went 24 and 0, and I nearly missed, I missed the nuke. Oh, oh shit. Absolutely gutted. My Uber is here now, so I've got to go. But I tell you what, this event has been absolutely amazing. The hype has been so real. I, I, I've looked into. Toby Chisel, Bazinga, all the boys, all the legends, just so many awesome people here, but my time has come, so I've actually got to go, so I'm going to go jump in my Uber, get back home, and live stream the game, but yo, Activision Call of Duty, thanks for the invite here, this has been an amazing night. No way! I was just about to leave, and I, was, I didn't know you were here! No way! I'm alright! I'm letting it now! Yeah, I'm going to play Call of Duty! He's in the middle of an interview, but I tell you something, I love this man more than anything. I love Simon Miniman into pieces, but nothing beats a bit of Toby Jizzle. And if he somehow sees this, everyone go and let him know how much I actually love that man. He's probably the kindest, like most down to earth YouTuber, if not person, you'll ever meet in your life. But he's in the middle of something, and I've got to go, so. Let's rock and roll. Right, and the adventure begins on the way home. Mate, honestly, that event was fucking sick. <laughs> it has to be said as always, if it wasn't for this man right here, if it wasn't for this man, I wouldn't have come to this event. I wouldn't have met them golden ticket winners. Thanks. Or anything. Thanks, bro. That was so much fun. Have a safe journey. I'm actually leaving this so pumped. Like, so pumped. All right. Hopped on out the car. 20 minutes. I'll be on my train and I'll be heading home. Not going to lie. I am feeling very tired right now. Like, I feel like my adrenaline from the event and that journey then. It's like wore off to the point where I'm like, if I set an alarm on my phone, put my headphones in, and then it wakes me up in two hours, I wake up fresh, ready to game all night. Because I want to be playing until like 6 a.m. or something tonight. Which is dumb, I should just play for a few hours, wake up, be nice and fresh the next day, but I just got that itch to play so bad. But next up, Manchester. Actually wearing my glasses now, I can read the screen. Usually to read that screen over there, I'd have to go all the way below it, but Manchester Piccadilly. Platform five. Okay, that way. I know I just said I'm gonna try and sleep, but <laughs> I got a coffee and a banana. <laughs> I'm armed and I'm ready to use it. I just showed the train people my ticket to get home with. They went, you can't get home with that. It's not a real ticket. I was like, it is. They went, no, we don't accept, accept screenshots of tickets. I was like, that's totally fine. But I used the same screenshot ticket to get down here. And then he went, we don't accept them. And I was like, you do? Cause that's how I got here. And then he was like, hmm, touche. <laughs> anyway, I spoke to the manager and she was like, yeah, it's fine. I'm going home. Whoa, several hours later and just like clockwork, there is my taxi home. Ooh, home sweet mother trucking home. And you know what? I've made it, oh, you can't see me, I'm sorry. I've made it home and it's currently 11.58. <laughs> Look at that. No way, yo, massive shout out to Call of Duty. First of all, for having me down there at the event, which I really appreciate, but then getting me back, banged on time. And thank God, 
I've got these in the fridge. I have no idea where I left off this vlog, but all I have to say is it is the next day. I am going upstairs. I am not rested. I thought I was going to have like, no joke. I genuinely thought I was going to have like 12 hours sleep. Got in bed at 5 a.m. I was like, right, time for a good night's sleep. Going to be rest. You're going to smash it all morning. Uh, someone rang my house phone at 9 o'clock in the morning. I even put my mobile on Do Not Disturb, which I've never ever like done in the past like year of my life lo and behold got woke up by some old woman thinking i was a furniture shop i was like are you kidding me woman i'm gonna find you and murder your face anyway uh got woken up which absolutely sucks i felt like absolute crap i've napped but now i am ready twitch.tv forge syndicate that's where i'm gonna be i'm gonna be playing games all goddamn night as you guys know i have a sponsored campaign for like the next 12 months with call of duty where i'm gonna be doing sponsored streams however the best thing about that is um you guys know I just love Call of Duty anyway, so if I'm supposed to stream one hour as a sponsored stream, well, let's not talk about the other 99 hours that I'm playing just for the sake of me wanting to play. So, ladies and gentlemen, Call of Duty stream sandwich coming right up. So, uh, I'm going to go. See you on my Twitch if you're looking forward to it. Link in the description. Get in there. Come and enjoy it. At 6 o'clock till... 8 o'clock will be the sponsored segment of the stream. There's absolutely nothing different about it being sponsored other than that. Activision are like, hey, can you play this game at this time? I'm like... Hmm, that's really convenient, because that's exactly what I'm going to be doing anyway. So I will see you guys in there. Let's feckin' get it, and let's own some noobs.